Oh my god, JPRs! Alright, today, the last one of the laptop cards, we've got the 3070M. I don't even need to specify 8 gigabytes, but 8 gig. Let me get rid of some of these uh, leftover cells that aren't doing anything here. Uh, this card, I think, is right up there with the 3060M 12 gigabyte as far as the best of the bunch. However, what was the pricing on this bad boy? This card, oh, Jesus. Yeah, so this is $200 even, which these days is not that great because you can get full desktop 3070s for that or less if you don't really care about the AIB, and there is nothing special about this cooler. Let me make no uh, misunderstanding, whatever, you know what I mean. No qualms, no misunderstanding. The cooler is not that great. I will say the fans at least don't run at 100% speed all the time, so you won't cook them immediately, probably. Uh, but let's hop right into the actual results here. Um, this card does support 810 memlock, so it's the cheapest Chinese laptop GPU that does support 810 memlocking. For the intermediate algos like Dynex, Flux, Nexa, you can't lock the memory at 5,000, 6,000 is your floor there. It doesn't support all that many SMI clocks for memory. Um, but efficiency... Not nearly as good as the 3080M, but still what I would consider quite good. We're getting almost 0.6, but the actual clock you can see is quite a bit lower. Not clock, the actual speed. Uh, under 48 souls, which for a 3070 is considered pretty bad. Uh, Nexa, very good efficiency um, up there with the 3080M. So maybe consider running Nexa on these. Kapow, uh, once again, quite good, actually. I wouldn't really have any reservations. 26.45 mega hash, 114 watts. It's not as good as the 3080M, but it's $70 cheaper. So I think this is definitely a better pickup than that if you're between those two cards for Kapow. Uh, Alephium, pretty damn good, actually. Uh, let's see here, Alephium 17 is considered quite good. We're up to 15.6. Iron, it's going to be the same efficiency story as Alephium, so quite good. Uh, Radiant. We have a result of 11. 10 is considered quite good, so they're very good at Radiant. Caspa, again, irrelevant, but very good efficiency. Dynex, 41, which is quite good, but the actual hash rate is, you know, a half of a kilo hash lower than the 3080M. So still a better value in that sense than the 3080M, but... I don't know. Anyway, it's impressive to see an NVIDIA card above, like, 30 efficiency. Even 30 is pretty good for an NVIDIA card right now. Uh, Conflux, 0.446. That's quite good. So maybe consider that. Uh, 0.208, very underwhelming on Pigeon. ETC, 0.559, so efficiency is good. Uh, and for the price point, that hash rate's actually pretty respectable. But keep in mind, you like, a well-binned desktop 3060 Ti is going to get you that with Samsung memory. And those, if you really poke around, you can find for like 180 bucks now. So I would, I would not buy this for for ETC or ETH or uh, what do they call the new one? Ethereum with, with the Blake Three integrated in it. I did not test RTH. I don't have a wallet for it. I really don't have any interest in that project. Ergo, good one uh, mega hash per watts considered good. This is 1.34. So these are stellar at Ergo. And I tested Demi, so a diminutive coin. This does 6.039 uh, kilohash at 56 watts. So that's pretty good. Again, very much on par with like a desktop 3060 Ti. Um, it's not a bad card by any um, by any means, but I just I don't think it's worth that much money. So if I had to price this card myself uh, to make it really attractive, I think this would have to be 150 bucks. If these were $150, they would be a no-brainer. I'd pick up a ton of these. Um, they do have four display outs, but it's worth mentioning none of these work properly in Windows. The The drivers, even for the laptop GPUs, don't load correctly. So it's a mining card. It does have display outs. You can use a, uh, like a Microsoft Basic Display Driver, but like you can't access the encoder. You can't do anything fun with it in Windows. So this is a Linux-only, mining-only card. It is nice that these all have a single 8-pin. Like, for mining cases, that's really, really stellar. They're all very, very small in size. So, I mean, there's there's things miners think about that other people don't. Um, so I, I can see how they, they would be attractive. I've never had a fan fail yet. However, I will say the, the plastic is made out of just garbage. I had a 30... In fact, I think it was this card, even. 
this card fell over just like very lightly onto the PMD. The fan at like 20% and the blades exploded. So they're not the best quality. Um, but yeah, of of the uh, the bunch, I think, yeah, the 3060 M12 gigabyte, that's probably what I prefer over the 3070M. And the 3080M, man, it's a great card, but it's just way too expensive. So 270 for that, I mean, it, it's really efficient. So if that's really your number one uh, concern, 3080M, work on the suppliers to get a better deal on them. But overall, man, I don't know. You're better off getting cheap, crappy AIB 3070 desktop cards at this point, I think. So anyway, that is the last of my laptop GPU roundup for now until a new set of them uh, comes up for sale. So thanks for watching this weird ass series. And yeah, there's all of my results, miners, everything else. These were tested in Hive OS, latest version, latest everything. So have a good rest of your week. Thanks for watching.